What's up everybody? Welcome to the Stocks Channel. My name is Corey and today in the stock market we're seeing the triple Qs battling the big bear in the Nasdaq 100. Will that be enough to drive the whole market down or are the bulls getting ready to push right through resistance? First up, let's take a look at the S&P 500, SPY ETF. So let's crack open this chart and see what's going on in the stock market today. All right, all right. Today, SPY was up 0.85% and we continue to find resistance around this level at $400 on SPY. And as you can tell, intraday, we were pushing outside the upper Bollinger Band and we were just getting way too far extended. And the bears will take advantage of that situation every single time. Now in this market, you need to look at the trading range between 390 and 399 and you need to decide if it's time for you to take risks to the long side or the short side. We have the big bear just above around the 200 simple moving average at 406 all the way up to the gap fill just above 408 and the critical resistance trend line right there right around 410 to 412. So there is a ton of resistance from today's close just about 3% higher and it is going to require the bulls to defeat the big bad bear. So I'm currently looking at this market as risk off below 399 because I do think we're at risk at this level of the big bear coming down to this level and pushing price back down towards 390. Now you instantly need to get a lot more bullish if the bulls start getting green closes back over 400 for that gap fill right around 408 and the test of the resistance trend line. So you could say risk off below 399 but need to get a little more risk on above that level and if you want to take on more risk then you're taking on risk as long as we're above 390 but below 390 you need to get risk off for the gap fill to the downside and test of the support trend line right around that gap fill at 381. On the Nasdaq 100 triple Qs, we are up 1.38% today. And as you can tell in the triple Qs, we are currently battling the big bad bear, which is at that triple Qs levels of 293. The bulls will need to push through all of this resistance above, and then we should see the bear retreating to the gap fill and the double bottom price target at the gap fill at 308, which is very likely going to get confirmed once we get the breakout through this resistance at 293. If you wanna take on more risk, you're staying bullish above the neckline at 284. And if you want to take on even more risk, you can stay bullish as long as we're above 280. Below all of that support, you're looking for downside retest of the 20 simple moving average at 275 and the gap close just below 269. On the Dow Jones DIA ETF, we're up 0.13% today. And as you can tell, the Dow Jones is still finding resistance around that gap fill area of 339. And as you can tell, we have resistance just above that at the previous daily high just below 342. We are still above a rising support trend line, but this is a very vertical impulsive rally, which is going to start getting a lot weaker once we lose the support zone right around 334, and then we'll very likely fill that gap at 331. If we continue lower below the gap fill, look for the next strongest support right around 324, which is going to be the 200 simple moving average and the rising 20 day moving average. On the Russell 2000 IWM ETF, we're up 1.48% and we're right back to the extremely critical resistance at 188. Remember above 188, we can get to the next daily high of resistance at 190 but the bull breakout above 190 is when you're looking for the run up to 195. A rejection from here should easily take us down to fill the gap around 178 and you're getting a lot more risk off if we start breaking down below this neckline at 176 for a retest of the lows right around 163. On the RK ETF, we're up 2.72% today and we did get the close right around this resistance at $40 and above 40, we still have strong resistance around 41 and then 43. As you can tell, the price action is above the shorter term moving averages so you can stay bullish as long as we're above 38, but below 38, you need to get a lot more risk off for a retest of support at 36 or the gap fill at 34. That critical resistance at 43 is going to be a very strong resistance within this bear market. On the VIX, we're up 3.41% today and the VIX is right back closing above 24, so you need to be a lot more cautious of a very volatile market while the VIX is elevated above 24. As you can tell, the VIX has been in a very strong downtrend and the bulls have been taking advantage of that, but in the shorter term, we could be seeing a spike in the volatility yet again if the VIX remains above 24. If the VIX crushes, look for the gap fill to the downside at 21, which will favor the bull run. On Bitcoin, we're currently down 0.51% and Bitcoin is still struggling around the 5 EMA of resistance just below 17,000. And it does look possible that we could be getting a double bottom off of the level of support right around 15,800. That's going to require a breakout above the neckline at 17,550. So that by far is critical resistance at this point. Above that breakout, look for a retest of the breakdown below the support at 19,000. 
And if we lose the support just below 16,000, the next price target will be down here at 14,395. On Amazon stock, we were up 0.46% today and intraday we did gap up to the resistance just above 102 and found resistance at the negatively sloping 20 daily moving average. As I continue to tell you, this is strong resistance around 102 because if we break above this resistance, we will very likely fill the gap below 110. A continuation and rejection of the downside will likely take us down to fill the gap just below $90. On Microsoft, Microsoft threw up 0.17% today and we continue to close back over the 50 EMA, but we failed to break out to a new daily high above 247. Above 247, we have strong resistance at 252, and then above 252, we're looking for the gap fills in the 260s. To the downside, we have strong support right around 240 to the resistance trendline breakout of support at 237. And below that, we will be looking for the gap filled just below 229 on a breakdown below 233. On NVIDIA stock, we're up 2.28% today as NVIDIA continues to push outside the upper Bollinger Band as it's starting to rise towards the 200-day simple moving average and resistance just below 180. At this point, we're getting way too overextended and we could see a rejection at any point, so look for that support right around 160 to 156 because if that support fails, we are very likely coming down to fill the gap at 142. On Tesla stock, we're up 1.82% today as Tesla finally closed the daily gap just below 197, but instantly found resistance at that gap fill and below the negatively sloping 20 simple moving average. The bear market in Tesla is still defined by the closes below this level right around 209.5, so you need to be prepared to see the price target at 173 as long as Tesla is below 205 and 209. Look for possible downside support right around 187 and this zone right around 177. On Apple stock, we were up 1.19% today and Apple did test the critical resistance trend line of resistance at 153 and this resistance level right around 152. As you can tell, we had high volume sellers from that level and we're right back down below the critical risk level at 150. So there is going to continue to be this trading range between about 152 and 147. The bears breaking below 147 opens the door to go close the gap at 138 and then 133. And the bull breakout above 152 to 153 should take us back up to the resistance right around 157. The financials were up 0.23% today, continuing to close above all of the moving averages as we continue to build the bull trend. But we do have this gap to fill to the downside right around 34. The industrials are up 0.69% today, also building a bull trend, but still have a gap to fill to the downside at 97, so do get a lot more risk off if we lose this support around 99. The healthcare sector was down 0.13% today, continuing to get rejected from this resistance at 134, but overall still in a bull trend. The energy sector was up 1.05% today with another 52-week closing high and continuing into the bull trend as long as we're above the support at 88. So jumping back over to the S&P 500, this is a very critical resistance right around SPY levels of $400, and you can instantly get a lot more bullish if the bulls can push through that level. Remember, this is still a risk on market while SPY is above 390, but decide how you're going to manage your risk and whether you're taking short trades or long trades, just remember to use great risk management. Also, don't forget to take advantage of the Black Friday special deal off Bank Trade Alerts where you can get 50% off two months of Bank S Plus or Bank. All you need to do is apply the coupon code Black Friday at checkout. Bank is absolutely crushing the market, beating all of the indices, including the T triple Qs and the S triple Qs, which is the only thing Bank trades. So take advantage of this special Black Friday deal now and try out Bank if you haven't already. And keep in mind, this is a limited time offer that will be expiring at the end of November. If you're looking to become a better price action trader, consider joining the Stocks Channel Trading Discord community where you get access to all of my intraday updates and analysis. You can find out how to join the Stocks Channel Discord by clicking on the link below. So thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you're crushing this market. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.